Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 23rd tutorial on jQuery. And in the previous tutorials we created this um, portfolio user interface and we uh, added this overlay and frame. But right now currently we don't see any frame, we see only a large picture right here. <clears throat> so we don't want this picture to be uh, that large and we want to see the frame. So let's just go ahead and uh, write some CSS code in order to see that. So um, we have an image inside of this frame div element right here and we are going to style this image element. So we can use jQuery to, uh, I mean the CSS vectors to grab this image which is inside of this frame and uh, what we are going to do, we uh, let's see how, how large the frame is. The frame has width of 700 pixels and let's set the image frame to 660 pixels so that we have um, like 20 pixels on the left and 20 pixels on the right uh, white space and uh, we don't need to set the height because um, the height should be calculated automatically and let's take a look so now we have this image but it's not centered yet so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to add margin left on 20 of 20 pixels so just basically move the picture 20 pixels to the right and now we have equal uh, borders on the left and on the right but there's something we're missing we want to have um, a border on the top and uh, on the bottom as well so we'll just add <clears throat> some internal space to this frame by using padding so I'll just say padding top should be 20 pixels and padding bottom should be 20 pixels and now we have a perfectly done frame but I there is something I still don't like about this frame I want to have a space between the header and the frame and we can use it by we can do it by using margin top I'll just say 15 pixels and now we have our frame is like perfectly in the center of the page and we have this border and stuff so and the next thing I want to do uh, and we are going to use jQuery for this part uh, when we click on the on the overlay on this black overlay we want this uh, picture to disappear and go back to the normal state so let's create a selector we can actually just copy this code but I will write it so that we uh, work so that we walk uh, through it very slow and you guys can follow along so when we click on the over overlay I'll just add the this click event function we want the following things to happen we want this overlay to disappear first so I'll just say overlay or I can use this selector as well because this selector will uh, refer to the element which is clicked and in this case is overlay so we can say this um, fade out so we can fade out the overlay and we want to fade out the frame so let's just select the frame and say fade out so goodbye frame yep so now we are uh, we're done and now let's just see what's gonna happen we open the image and then we click on the overlay and it's magic and it works and so now we can browse these pictures in a very nice and fancy way and um, so but there's something uh, I want to add to this uh, uh, to this portfolio. I want to um, to change the, the 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 cursor to the pointer. So so you know in HTML, if you uh, hover over a link, this arrow uh, uh, transfers to a hand, and uh, so the user knows that th this thing is clickable. Right now, it doesn't look like it's clickable. So we can go to our CSS and uh, uh, we can copy this selector of portfolio uh, list image and uh, then you put a colon and say hover and what it means that means that this selector will work we, when we hover hover over this element and you can say cursor pointer and the same for the overlay overlay uh, hover cursor pointer 
and the same for the frame image so frame image hover cursor pointer now let's see what's gonna happen we hover over it and we see this hand and we when we go to the frame we don't see the hand and when we go right here we see the hand and when we click to the overlay well overlay doesn't it doesn't work for some reason um, I'll just try like this overlay yep now our overlay works as well so this is something what we uh, want to do in this tutorial and in this next tutorial we want to add the feature so that you can scroll between the images so we will create and like little arrows on the right and on the left which will appear when you hover over a certain area here and we can also create a, um, a feature of displaying some text or some just a description below all right guys um thanks for watching i hope you learn uh, new stuff and i'll see you guys in the 24th tutorial have a nice